My beloved child, be vigilant and attentive to the needs of your family. For a pivotal season is upon us, a time that will touch the lives of families everywhere, and especially those who have placed their trust in me. This is not merely a message, it is an urgent call that requires your full attention. For these words carry the power to safeguard your family. Before you delve deeply into this revelation, I urge you to spread it far and wide among those who share faith in me. This moment transcends personal boundaries. It will impact all who hold me dear in their hearts. Share this message with the five people who are closest to you, those whom you cherish deeply, and ask them to receive it with reverence and sincerity, without doubt or disdain for the divine will of their Lord and God. My child, listen with an open heart. These next five days bring an era unlike any before, a chapter that will mark a profound change. You are not hearing these words by chance, for I have orchestrated every detail to align with this moment. This breath you draw, this very second, has been crafted by my hand to speak to you directly to bring clarity and understanding to the path that lies ahead. Do not shy away or doubt. I am here to guide, protect, and prepare you for what is coming. Your role is vital. Alert those you love. Awaken their hearts and prepare them for this transformative period that will affect every corner of life as you know it. Only those who have anchored their lives firmly in me, standing solidly on the foundation of my word, will endure these times with strength and grace. Beloved, do not be swayed by the illusions of this world. The enemy has woven a web of distractions, drawing my people away, concealing truth with deceit, but I am unveiling all that has been hidden. I am granting sight to those willing to see and understanding to those open to my spirit. This five-day window is a pivotal moment, one long foretold, a time when my glory will be revealed as never before, and a period of intense spiritual testing. The enemy, sensing the shortness of his time, will wage a fierce battle, aiming to disrupt and dismantle the lives of my children. But fear not, I have equipped you with the authority to overcome him. My spirit dwells within you, and the power I have given is greater than anything in this world. Now is not the time for complacency or indifference. This is the hour to stand firm, to act with purpose and vigilance, to intercede for your family and loved ones, and for all who hold faith in me. The spiritual struggle is real, but the outcome is already in my hands. I am calling you to participate in this triumph, to witness firsthand the power of my intervention. In the days ahead, unmistakable signs will emerge. The earth will tremble, manifesting signs in nature, storms will rage, the ground will shake, and disruptions will ripple through societies. Do not see these events as mere coincidences. They are the birth pangs of a new age, the dawn of a season I am bringing into being. When these signs arise, be steadfast and remember that I have spoken of them beforehand. Keep your eyes fixed on me, for I am your refuge, your shelter from the storm. I am the voice that commands calm, the hand that holds the stars, and nothing transpires outside of my sovereign will. In me, you are safe. But let me also forewarn you, scoffers will arise, mocking these words and dismissing the message. They will cast aside these truths, their minds clouded by the deceptions of this world, their hearts hardened against my voice. Pray for them, beloved. Pray fervently that their spiritual eyes may be opened before it is too late, for my desire is that none should perish, that all might come to repentance. Yet many will cling to rebellion, sealing their own paths. Do not let this fate touch your family. Stand as an intercessor, a guardian for those you love, for your prayers are powerful beyond measure. Feel free to share this video with up to three people. Do you feel the need for God's presence? Your words spoken in faith can alter destinies and draw forth my mercy and intervention. Do not tire in your petitions, for I hear each one, feel every tear, and my heart responds to your cries. Even now, miracles and breakthroughs are taking shape, unseen but soon to be revealed.
You are in the midst of intense spiritual warfare, child. The enemy has unleashed forces that many are unprepared for, but you are not left defenseless. I have equipped you with my word, sharper than any double-edged sword. I have given you my name, above all names, at which every knee will bow. And my spirit, the spirit of truth, power, wisdom, and revelation, lives within you. You are not alone in this struggle. I walk beside you, and my victory is already assured. But you must engage in this battle with resolve. Take up the full armor I have provided, so you may withstand the schemes of the enemy. Do not be unaware of his tactics. He will target your vulnerabilities, attack your mind with doubt, fear, and confusion. He will attempt to sow seeds of discord in your family, aiming to fracture bonds and breed division. He will seek to shake your resolve, to cloud the promises I have given you. Stand firm, rooted in the truth I have spoken. You are my child, chosen and called for this very time. I have not brought you this far to abandon you. I am with you, even to the end of the age. During these five days, shifts will occur in the spiritual realm. Prayers you have long spoken will bring forth breakthroughs. Chains that have bound your family in struggles, addictions, despair, burdens that have weighed down generations will begin to dissolve in my name. But the release will not come without resistance. The enemy will not retreat willingly. Stand strong. Pray unceasingly. Fast and seek my presence, for I am moving in unseen ways, and soon you will witness the fruits of your faithfulness. Know this as well. My church will undergo a purifying fire. I am calling out to my people, distinguishing those whose hearts truly belong to me from those who are entangled with the world. Many speak my name, yet their lives reflect a hollow faith. They hold the form of godliness, but deny its true power. Their lips offer praise, but their hearts chase after fleeting desires. I am calling my people to repentance, to return to their first love, for I am preparing a bride without blemish, uncompromising, and wholly devoted. Lukewarm hearts will not endure. My call is for purity, a love undivided, for I am coming soon. These next five days will bring revelations and exposures. I will bring hidden sins to light, unveiling secrets kept in the shadows for too long. This is a time of cleansing, for I am holy, and I desire a holy people. But for those who persist in rebellion, who scorn repentance, my hand of protection will be withdrawn. I will not contend with human hearts forever. My grace abounds, but it is not to be taken lightly. I am calling my people to awaken from spiritual slumber, to rise up, for time is fleeting. My child, know that I am raising up a distinct and faithful remnant. A people who will not yield to the idols and fleeting values of this world. These are the steadfast ones, the brave souls who will stand resolute in the face of persecution, who will proclaim my name with courage, undeterred by fear. They are carriers of my glory, willing to venture into the darkest places to spread my light, bringing hope and healing to the lost and brokenhearted. I am equipping spiritual warriors, individuals who will fight the good fight of faith and will not falter under the weight of adversity. And you, my child, are part of this remnant. I have called you for this specific time, prepared and equipped you for the battles that lie ahead. Do not let fear take root in your heart regarding what is to come, for I have already paved the way. I have gone before you, and my presence will accompany you at every step. In the days ahead, there will be a season of divine acceleration, a period where delays will be broken, and what was hindered will swiftly come to pass. Prayers that once seemed unanswered will receive surprising responses. Doors once closed will swing open with ease. Be prepared, child, for a new season is dawning. Cling not to the past, for I am doing a new thing, and it is springing forth even now. Can you sense it? With this acceleration comes a profound responsibility. I am entrusting you with more, greater influence, expanded authority, and more of my power. Yet, remember to stay humble, 
For it is not by your strength or might, but by my spirit, that all things will come to fruition. Seek not the approval of people, for human praise is fleeting and unreliable. Instead, seek to please me, for I am the one who rewards those who pursue me diligently. Stay close to me, child, immerse yourself in my word. Remain in prayer and worship, for there you will draw the strength needed to persevere. And remember the importance of community. This journey is not one you are meant to walk alone. I have placed people in your life to support, encourage, and intercede with you. Dear child, if you wish to aid our ministry in spreading the message of Jesus, kindly consider supporting us by donating through the Buy Me A Coffee link provided in the description and pinned comment. Do not isolate yourself, for isolation makes you vulnerable to the enemy's attacks. The strength of my body lies in unity, where when one stumbles, others are there to lift them up. Together, as a unified body, you will stand firm against the forces of darkness. In these five days, you will witness my glory revealed in unprecedented ways. You will see my hand move in ways that will fill you with awe and wonder. However, you must stay faithful, continuing to trust in me even when the path forward seems unclear. I am the God who creates paths through impossibilities, who brings forth streams in the desert, who transforms mourning into joy and ashes into beauty. Place your trust in me, child, for I am always by your side. Now go forth with courage, with unshakable confidence, for I am with you. The time has come for you to step fully into your calling. The next five days will be pivotal, days of both challenge and great glory. Keep your eyes fixed on me, and you will see my hand at work. Fear not, for I will never leave you nor forsake you. In these days, the hidden spiritual realities surrounding you will come into sharper focus. Understand that your battle is not merely physical, but is waged against principalities, against powers, and against the rulers of darkness in the heavenly realms. These forces aim to disrupt the foundation of your family, to cloud your purpose, and to fracture the unity of the spirit. Recognize the profound influence the spiritual realm has on your physical world. Every prayer spoken, every declaration made in faith, every act of obedience shifts the atmosphere, altering circumstances and impacting those around you. Certain moments carry heightened spiritual significance, days where the spiritual veil thins and my presence is more palpable. In these sacred times, the prayers of my people resound more powerfully and the enemy is especially vigilant. He knows these are opportunities for my children to exercise their authority, to reclaim what has been taken, and to declare my promises with boldness. Be vigilant, child, for these moments are laden with potential for breakthrough, healing, and transformation. As you journey through these five days, cultivate a heightened spiritual awareness, understanding that unity within families has a unique power. The enemy fears this unity, for when hearts align with my purpose, there is a synergy that cannot be broken. This is why he relentlessly sows discord and division within families, hoping to fracture the bond between husband and wife, between parents and children, thereby weakening faith and hindering purpose. Yet I have armed you with every tool you need to stand firm. Remember, forgiveness is a mighty weapon. Bitterness creates footholds for the enemy, so guard your heart against it. Be swift to forgive, for forgiveness invites my healing presence and restores love and grace. Do not let anger linger, but seek resolution quickly, allowing my peace to rule within you. I encourage you to create a profound atmosphere of gratitude within your family, one that goes beyond simple appreciation and becomes a constant way of life. Gratitude has a unique power. It reframes your perspective and opens your heart, making you more aware of the countless blessings I have already given you. As you cultivate thankfulness for each other, for the gift of family, and for the various ways I have provided, you will find an unshakable joy filling your hearts, a joy rooted in me. This joy is a divine strength, a wellspring from which you will draw resilience. 
Through gratitude and words of encouragement, you will strengthen each other, building a foundation that will enable you to face the trials and storms of life together, anchored in the joy and peace that only I can give. Be vigilant. For there will be times when the enemy tries to use situations around you to sow seeds of fear and confusion. He will attempt to manipulate world events and distract you from your true purpose to turn your gaze from the mission I have placed within your heart. My child, do not fall for these deceptions. Instead, root yourself deeply in my truth. Remind yourself daily that you are not of this world. Your identity is found in me. You are citizens of heaven, chosen to bring my light into dark places. Do not allow the chaos of the world to infiltrate your home. Stand guard over your hearts and minds, pushing out fear, for I have given you a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind, not one of fear. As you stand firm in faith, the workings of my spirit will become evident in your lives. Not only will you see breakthroughs within your family, but blessings will unfold in other areas you have prayed for earnestly. The spiritual and physical realms are intricately connected, and as you align yourselves with my promises and declare them with faith, you are engaging with the divine purpose I have designed for you. Through prayer and faith, you are calling forth realities that may not yet exist in the physical realm. You are advancing my kingdom on earth, and know this, the enemy cannot withstand it, with intentionality. Approach each day, recognizing the power of unity in prayer. Great authority is found in unified prayer. When two or more gather in my name, I am there with them. Come together as a family, hand in hand, and pray not only for each other but also for your community, your nation, and the world. My heart longs for all people. I desire that none should perish but that everyone would come to repentance. As you intercede, know that your prayers are powerful. They have the potential to transform lives, to heal broken hearts, and to bring forth change that only I can manifest. In these times, I urge you to cultivate spiritual discernment. As the days grow darker, many voices will seek your attention. False prophets, deceptive teachings, and distractions will try to lead you astray. Keep yourselves anchored in my word, for it is the measure by which you discern truth from deception. Seek my wisdom, come to me for discernment, and I will give you clarity amid the confusion. I will provide guidance as you navigate the complexities around you, helping you to recognize what is of me and what is not. Remember, my beloved, that the spiritual realm is not just an abstract idea, but a reality that has direct influence on your lives. Forces are constantly at work to keep you from walking in the full measure of my calling for you. Be aware of the times and seasons, for I have placed you here with purpose. I have called you to be my light in the darkness, my beacon of hope in a world that desperately needs me. The enemy may try to convince you that your efforts are meaningless, that your prayers are ineffective. But hear me, this is a lie meant to weaken you. In this season, celebrate the small victories, for each day is a sacred gift. Embrace each moment as a new opportunity to express love, kindness, and gratitude. Make time for shared meals, laughter, heartfelt conversations, and prayer. These moments will root your hearts deeper in my truth, reminding you of who I am and all that I have accomplished in your lives. The love and unity you cultivate within your family will be an anchor, a source of strength that sustains you through any storm you may face. In these coming days, as you remain united, you will witness my hand moving in remarkable ways. Expect to see healing, restoration, and breakthrough beyond what you could imagine. But remember to walk humbly, always giving the glory back to me. It is I who bring increase, who fulfill promises, who answer prayers, and who transform lives. Your family is an integral part of my grand design, and I am using each of you as vessels of my love and grace to touch this world. Embrace this calling, knowing that I am with you, guiding you every step of the way. Amen.